Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers and welcome back to the Pacific Northwest, our home away from home. I have arrived back from Mercury Farms. It's kind of late in the afternoon. Um, I did get a text message from Mr. Bill Buck because uh, our last day in Mercury Farms, we got a text from Frank about needing straw and, and stuff for horses. So I just went ahead and text Bill because Bill's kind of like, I want to say the one in charge here because it's the community thing. So I have no idea what's going on. I'm just a farm hand, really farm manager. Anywho. Um, yeah, there are probably going to be some horses eventually on the map. He kind of told me they bought the land over here by the animal dealership. So if we look here, they bought the land back from, uh, over here. So we'll just, no, no, no. Hang on a second. Uh, no wrong buttons. Uh, there we go. Uh, animal dealership. Yeah, so what, what Bill says the community would like to do, because they have this right here, um, they want to do some horse shows. And they thought it would be a great way to bring in people, tourists, visitors, what have you. But that means, uh, yeah, we're so they bought the land over here. They want to put down a horse stall area. And that way people can, you know, the owners can bring their horses in and they can put on shows and whatnot for tourists and what have you. So I guess that's going to be a thing. And I told him, I said, look, we got to get our animals up and running. And he says, no problem because the stall stable area, um, may, may not be here for a couple days. Uh, maybe before we leave back to back home, but he was not, un he was very unsure about that. But anywho, Frank has been busy, uh, our farm manager while we're gone. Um, if we look down here, uh, all of our fields down here are double fertilized. They're all, these all are all set to go. Nothing ready for harvest yet, which is fine. Uh, he took care of this field here. He weeded and fertilized it and it's all set to go. He picked up the straw that was in field 22. Uh, that's ready to be reseeded. Uh, he didn't touch this field over here, which is wheat. So we'll be taking care of that this afternoon and all the grass that was here, or excuse me, hay, he's picked that up. And put a lot of it in the Total Mix Rations mixer and also put some in storage. So if we go here, um, we are going to see how much hay we kind of got. Now the Total Mix Rations mixer shows, will show uh, like a silo in a way. So we don't really have that much. You can see it's going down because the mixer is running. So we have a good amount of hay, but a lot of it's in the mixer. Um, some straw and of course some of it is in the mixer some is in the silo so that can get kind of confusing um, like silage that that's not the silage that we have in the bunker that's the silage we have in the mixer so we're pretty much all set there uh, our animals are doing okay I think uh, when we harvest this wheat up here I am going to top off the chickens because uh, they're getting us a little bit low so instead of me just rambling and doing nothing I think we need to hop up here and Frank also did go ahead and, I mean, he put stuff away, and but he didn't really, he kind of left the header on the harvester. Probably not the best way to store it, but, um, I mean, I'm only going to cross the street here, so I don't want to unhook the header myself at this point, because I'm lazy. Uh, hopefully no traffic is coming, we'll just pop right across. There we go. And also today we are going to make a purchase ourselves. We need another tractor for the lower fields. And just up came out on the mod hub just a couple days ago, but we haven't been here. Was a John Deere 8R. And I want to give that sucker a whirl. It looks really nice. Uh, it's in, My mod's installed and all that, so... Um, do we have enabled straw swath? Yes, we do, because we need the straw. So, what I need to do now, knowing that, for, you know, I don't know if we got to, take, you know, have horses here, or I, I'm not, I haven't quite figured that all out yet. But basically, what I need to say is, if we're going to have horses here, we're going to need oats, and we don't have any oats just as of yet. 
So this field here, oats, I guess, uh, at least we'll have some food in stock. So when the horses do come, we can feed them. The hay should not be a problem. The straw, not so much of a problem because, you know, in order to get oats, you're going to have straw. So that's not going to be a problem either. Um, water, obviously not an issue. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks is, uh, I guess I got to buy something for transport or pay a transportation fee, which is kind of, I, I wish I didn't have to. I wish you could kind of like buy the horse because the stable is going to be like right there by the dealership. I would just like to trot the horse from the, the, the livestock market. I always say dealership, uh, the livestock market over to the horse paddock. So yeah. And uh, if we do get the horses, the horse helper will be installed. So I've been doing a little bit of thinking about this this farm since the last time we've been here. If Seasons does come out, I don't think I can run Seasons on this Let's Play only because of the big loan that we have. So if we were to run Seasons, we're talking only one and possibly two harvests per season depending on what you decide to plant. Uh, with a $55 million loan, that's going to take forever to do harvest and get enough money from crop sales and what have you to kind of pay that off because I'm kind of seeing like on Hawks Bay where I have a $20 million loan. I'm going to have episode 22 and I still owe like $17 million. So yeah, that's <laughs> a $55 million loan. Uh, you do the math, that's almost 200% um, is that 200% more? Yeah, it's almost 200% more of a loan. So, yeah, it's it's yeah. so if Seasons comes out like I said, I don't think I'm going to be able to run it on this Let's Play just because it'll be just too much. But who knows, uh, I'm not going to worry about Seasons just yet because no word about when that's coming out so we'll just keep on pushing through and I'll kind of worry about that when it comes along, but just no, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, see, I do this all the time to get talking, not paying attention, and I just lost some crop. All right, some of you are probably already back home saying, he's going to destroy his crops. All right, so, so, yeah, since we bought, or the town bought some land back, um, here's our friend Tractor. He was, yeah, he, I left him up here, or Frank left it up here. Sorry, <laughs> Frank left it up here because... He knew we were going to be doing uh, harvesting some wheat, so we'll have some straw. Uh, where's my T8? Right over here. Yeah, so some of this wheat should be enough to top off the chickens. And then the rest will go in the silo, and uh, the Volvo truck will be coming up here with the trailer at some point and grabbing a whole bunch of it and bringing it on down to the pig food mixer. Because... Hopefully by the time we head back to Mercury Farms by the end of the week, we should have some pigs. Um, actually, because where is... Which one is um, the sun... Uh, the canola right here. And that is like... Um, it might be ready for harvest later in the day tomorrow. Maybe. But all I want to really get done today, or tonight... We only got like another couple hours before nighttime falls. Is uh, get to harvesting, finish harvesting this field. I don't think I'll get time to grab the T8 and the seed drill and seed the other field behind us. But we'll see how far we can get before nighttime falls. I mean, I guess I could also take the fence and just pick up the straw. I mean, that shouldn't take too long. And this straw here might go into the silo over by the pig barn. Just to have some over there so we'll get the pigs. They got bedding as well. I have also been in contact with Bill about the possibility of maybe getting more, more cash. And, um, yeah, I got reply with like a sad face emoji. So, uh... Probably not. <laughs> uh, just because I, I, he just 
I asked why, they said, well, the, well, the additional courses, you know, we may require to purchase more land to get another field down in the, in the in the flats down there, just because of all the demand it's going to take. And um, I mean, we're doing okay money wise per se. It's just that you know we're going to be spending some cash. I mean, we're going to be buying a tractor here very shortly, and I expect to spend like four hundred grand there. Um, yeah, we do got to buy pigs, but that's not going to break the bank too much. The problem becomes of the loan that we're paying every night of 156000 something like that. So every 10 days, that's $1.5 million every 10 days on the loan. And right now, of course, our income is pretty much zero because our animals haven't produced enough of anything yet. And everything that we're harvesting is going towards the animals right now. So... Yeah, zero income at the moment. Actually, let me get over here so this straw swath kind of gets in the mix with the other one. So, yeah, it may look like, well, you got $3 million. You're fine for a while, but really, not so much. That's why when they bought the land for the the horses I think they spent 160 grand on that piece of property buying that back so that's why we're below three million dollars now and we're and pretty soon we're gonna be down probably below two and a half million but we got plenty of wheat here to probably top off the chickens and put some in the storage and the rest will go down help take care of the pigs uh, this will be an oak field next I think that field over there will be planted with some wheat 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 uh, just to help out with the pigs and I just gotta keep reminding myself take it easy with the pigs this, this is not Hawks Bay you don't have a thousand pigs you gotta feed it'll just be like 84 so we'll be fine but seeing how much wheat we got off this field I'm pretty sure we put oats in it for one time uh, when we get the horses, we'll be more than okay. Right now, I'm just going to park this harvester right over here. Maybe Frank will take care of it at some point. Let me turn off the beacons. Uh, lower the header. And we'll close up the harvester just in case. Never know. So let's go over. We'll top off the chickens. And that should help them out for at least five days. Usually, you know, usually you would say ten, but since they're uh, reproducing, yeah, this won't be a, a enough for ten days for sure. I'm so used to the old uh, Northwest where I could just drive, I don't want to say drive across there, but I'm not used to having that that little bit of a ditch there. And I don't, I don't bother taking the road. This is a little bit smoother over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't feed them with this trailer. That's right. This trailer will not work. That's why we bought the other trailer. All right, so I'm going to go put this into the silo, fill up the other trailer with a little trap door in the back, and uh, yeah, then I'll meet you back at the, the chicken farm. Chicken pen, paddock, whatever. 14,000 liters of wheat for the chickens. Uh, they don't need all of it, but you know, I'm like, well, we'll just fill it all up and they take what they take. Yeah, we just need that little trap door in the back. Let's see if I can line it up correctly here. It's a little, it's a little fidgety, fidgety for sure. Um, Oh, I got, that's why. Uh, right side, tip side, back. Green door. I think it's got to be on green door before this will accept it.
Um, I think it's good. A few moments later. There it is. These chickens are a little bit of a pain in the butt. Alright, so the chickens should be satisfied right now. Um, yeah, we're, we're slowly getting there. Every five and a half hours, we're getting three chickens. I almost said four, but the roosters don't do... The rooster doesn't do anything. He's just there for show and tell. So, yeah, we're going to bring this on back. We have lots of wheat. We have like 150,000 liters, I think, in the silos, so which is good. Um, we'll grab the Volvo truck, come up here at some point, and take 90,000 liters out of here. Bring that down to the pig food mixer. And the only thing we're missing is uh, oil seed. So, that's what the canola is for. I wanted to plant more canola than what we have, but... You know, someone needed potatoes. Uh, change that so I can tip this out a little bit quicker. I, I did notice last week. <laughs> I'm feeling the same way now. It seems like when when we're I'm on my own farm, Mercury Farms. I'm kind of thinking, boy, I wish I was on uh, on the Pacific Northwest. And then when I'm here, it's like, boy, I wish I was back on Mercury Farms to be doing this. It's, it's like a toss-up of what map I want to be on. But it's good to... I, I kind of like it. I'm, I'm mixing up the way we are. Three days here, three days there. Hawks Bay in between. Um, Alright, so what I need to do is... Uh, we're going to make a call down to the vehicle shop. It's a good thing now I got a good rapport with these uh, the vehicle shop. Because now I can just call down and tell them what we want. So this John Deere, you can get right on the Mod Hub. Where right There it is. The AR series. Now, I did have a quick look at this. Uh, that's why I know how much it's going to cost. Now, the tire system is just a little bit different. So, there is no three-point linkage on the front. You can just add weights to it. So, we're going to go ahead and just get the heaviest weight. Uh, because because uh, the mud guards. Uh, by the way, the, the wheel weight. Uh, the wheel weights. Uh, the front weights, you can go from 1,100 kilograms and then 700, 500, 300 standard uh there you have it uh the mud guards there's a mud guard option so you got your basic you got your just mud guards for the front fenders and then you got all fenders or you can just do the back fenders and then you're back to basic um i think we're just gonna go with all fenders because i kind of i at first i just want the front fenders but i kind of like having the extended fender right here because of the reason we're about to do uh engine setup there's a lot of different engines you can have in here uh <laughs> So you got one option, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven different engine options. Uh, we're going with 450 horsepower because this tractor, like I said, is for the flat fields down there, the big fields. Uh, mainly, and I'm, I'm hoping, I'm not sure. Uh, well, first of all, GPS, yeah, because. Um, so you can see the tire options, which are down here. So it doesn't say narrow tires. A row crop tire so i'm hoping i'm not sure we're, we're gonna find out and it'll be sad if it doesn't um but we're gonna see if this destroys crops here uh, but you have quite a few different tire options so i mean they're giving you the standard uh definitions of what tires when you buy tires this is kind of the numbers you are looking for um so i would call those narrow tires uh you got narrow tires with weights uh, you can have uh, doublés in the back, doublé narrow tires, doublé <laughs> narrow tires with uh, weights in the back, uh, fronts, uh, yeah, weights everywhere, um, the flotation device tires, which I do like, uh, and the one with weights. But right now, I want the option of uh, the doublés with the weight options. It looks kind of funky. Uh, so there's $405,000. Um, that is the option I want. Yes, that's the option I want. Uh, so we're going to head and buy that. four hundred grand. Thank you. Um, let's see. The T8 for now. Yeah, since we only got a half an hour before night fall arrives. Yeah, so down to $2.5 million. And it's going to be even worse than that when midnight comes. 
So I do, you can see I do have some straw in the loading wagon already from, well, excuse me, when Frank uh, picked up the straw in the field behind us. So we're going to hook that up. Uh, we're going to leave that on wheat because he's going to seed that field. I probably should check. So this field does not need we, uh, to be weeded. Not weeded. Uh, limed or plowed. Yeah, because we just did that. So, uh, so tomorrow we'll get some wheat planted here, oats planted here, and who knows what's going on down here. Meanwhile, here is our John Deere. Uh, if we go into the cab, uh, first of all, let me turn off the course play stuff. Um, show guidance, steering, select camera, cruise control. Uh, unfold tractor. That's interesting. Unfold tractor. Oh, the, the lights in the back. All right. Very nice. Oh, that's right. So the, my mouse buttons, I do believe. Oh no. Okay. So the, <laughs> we'll learn what all the controls are. So my left, my right mouse button opens and closes the door. I kind of remember that, um, he submitted this to giants to put, you put it in the mod hub and they declined it because they said you need to have the doors open and close, which I found very weird as long. Uh, I also heard this like on silver news because the in-game John Deere tractors don't require the doors open and close, but he showed the email right back from giants. They declined it because the doors didn't open and close. I don't know. Uh, my left mouse button, if I scroll back, you can adjust. The suspension in the front so you can see the tractor lowers and rises kind of interesting uh, but the main thing I want to see let's see so I turn on the direction light oh look at that that is nice well done sir well done as most mods usually are that are on the mod hub well done I mean, I've said this before, many other people said it before, uh, Giants and Farming Simulator wouldn't be the game it is without mods. Like this map. Alright, so what we need to see is, and we're going to do it on potatoes, because if I ruin some potatoes, who cares? Alright, not destroying any crop whatsoever. Um, is that the first growth stage though? That's what I got to find out. Um, it could be, uh, but our canola down here, our canola is definitely not in the first growth stage. So this is good. Uh, double, uh, dually narrow tires, which is what I was looking for, uh, a decent amount of horsepower. This flips the bill and it's a John Deere on American map. So I didn't want people to start saying you're on American map. You don't have a John Deere tractor. Are we all set? Yeah, so this is classified as narrow tires. They seem a little bit wider than the in-game narrow tires, so I was just wanting to make sure. So what this will be good for is when we get a field with some weeds down here, instead of you using herbicide, if it's in the first growth stage, we can use our weeder. And also, you know, at one point down here, I had the fence, uh, I think the fence was doing something. Well, I had the Fent and the K Squadrotech doing stuff down here, and I need another tractor. So, boom. We got three tractors down here. Up above, we got the T8 and the Voltra. Right now, I don't need a third tractor up there. But I don't think I showed you that Frank went ahead and started putting stuff into our sheds here. So, there is our... Uh, yeah, it looks like he delivered all the wood that we had as well. So, there's our log trailer. Our trailer. Our, and the Cedral takes up one little spot. There's our root crop harvester, our two uh, sprayers, and you can still see we got equipment over there because, well, we're just running out of space, so I may need more sheds. Um, he put the headers out here, which is fine. One for sugar meat, one for potatoes. There is our silo there, obviously, as we all know, but it's getting to be nighttime. So let's go ahead and... Uh, We'll come over here to our other, and there's our other shed, if you will, for the cows. And you can see I got stuff in there, so I, <laughs> I don't have enough sheds for down here. Uh, who would have thought? And someday we will get to landscaping and whatnot. So, um, so what do we got for lights here? 
on the John Deere. Three, so three options. One, there's your backups, and there's all of them if you want. I have never turned individual lights on. Uh, usually I just hit the, uh, well, on, on the PC, it's the F button to turn on lights. So fronts, rears. I know you can turn on each individual one if you wanted to. But. So there we are, down to $2.5 million. So in 10 days, without any income, technically we'll be down to $1 million because of loan and stuff like that. But we got cows now uh, producing milk. We got the chickens. They're solely producing eggs. Our sheep are producing wool. And they got to be careful with this truck. This truck can go rather fast. Something I never really do in farming sim, but let's drive first person. Oh, it's really quiet when you get inside the truck. But we're going to head on back to our beautiful log home. I shouldn't say a home, it's more like a log cabin. I wish somebody would have left the lights on so I can really see a little bit better. Someone needs to come up, there might be actually a mod out there, I should look for like a fireplace. Or a fire pit. And really what I also need to do is... Probably bring the uh, tree harvester up here and cut down some trees around our cabin. But, it's time to head to bed. I'm going to see you in the morning, which is going to happen here in a brief second. Wait, wait what time is it? Alright, so I think 10 hours is... Can I... Hello? It's not giving me the option to... Uh... There we go. I'm like, give me the option to sleep, man. Alright, so here comes a little bit of a hit. Yep, $155,000 for loan, vehicle, and property maintenance. So, a little bit of early start to the day it's not quite six o'clock uh let's get back into our truck 10 hours sleep is more than enough for me even in real life uh i wish i could sleep 10 hours in real life some days yes yeah, so I'm, I'm recording this on a saturday morning uh i went to bed last night at 3 a.m and it's now 7 a.m so yeah that's what i'm saying i wish i could sleep 10 hours in real life Gotta get this recorded because it's a beautiful summer day out and uh, I got places to be today. Let's so turn on some lights here. Uh, help us get back to the farm. Yeah, so that 8R is going to be a wonderful addition for us down here. So this corn that's growing right here, that's going to be going over to the pig food mixer. Easy there, cowboy. There we go. Okay, make sure we turn off my, my lights here. This is my parking spot right next to the manure heap. I mean, why wouldn't you? You know, you leave your windows down all day and all the flies can get into your beautiful new truck. I like how... I, I do like this cow barn. I do like it. Um... Are all the cows outside? I mean, there's only two of them in here. Are they all sleeping out here? Must be. They're outside eating the grass. All right, so what we need to do... Um, so our field's down here. They're looking okay. Actually, what I need to do is... Can I see... Even though it's grass... Yeah, I need to get our... I need to come over here and fertilize this field, our grass field. Um, just in case. So let's go ahead and... Uh, which one am I in? Liquid fertilizer. Alright, we're going to get one of our farm hands to go ahead and spray that field over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of get something set up this morning. And uh, I'll bring you back in just a little while. And we'll get some more field work done. As the sun starts to rise on the Pacific Northwest... Yep, we have our 90,000 liters of wheat headed down to the pig barn, or the hog barn, actually, I think it was called. So now we just lack the oil seed. 
I'm hoping sometime later in the farm day that uh, that field will be ready for harvest and then we can start harvesting that as soon as we can. Um, the sooner we get the pigs up and going, the better, just because they'll start reproducing, which means, you know, money and all that fun stuff at some point. Yep, so, yeah, I can still see the issue with that hog barn. I thought maybe placing over here, so you can kind of see the lighting from that hog barn. You can kind of see what it's doing. It's like pixelating the, the light textures through it or something like that. But, you know, it's only like that during the night. And I, I was trying to give it a shot, and uh, it's already down. So, yeah, we'll just have to deal with it, <laughs> you know. Anywho, there goes our wheat into the pig food mixer. At some point, it'll show it in there. So, oh, so that's corn. Yep, there's our wheat, and the bottom one's sugar beet. So, yeah, we're just, just missing that one key ingredient. Uh, yeah, so we do have... Uh, the fertilizer sprayer over here and he is already done actually as the sun comes up but now we're going to drive this back to our main I, I don't know if I should call it the main farm or the main parking area the garage I have no idea uh, but we'll park it on down here and we're going to go ahead and teleport back up to the north grab our fence tractor it's already got some straw in it like I said it looks like that trailer is already half full kind of Frank just left it there knowing that we were going to harvest that wheat I said I might as well leave it up here then that can go down to the pig silo for our pigs that we probably will have I would say next episode and we're just going to get one one kind of pig and I think it's going to be the I think I'm going to go with the black and white pigs And then, uh, yeah, we should have them all. Because that canola is this, you know. That canola might be even be ready <laughs> before I get done with this episode here. Um, the one thing I need to do before I park this up is the truck is starting to get a little bit dirty. And I probably should wash the trailer as well. So let's come on over here. Come into our beautiful little wash station. Oh, the trailer's not too bad. So, another thing that Bill says that uh, in the future is going to be needed. So, I don't know if I should just go ahead and start purchasing, purchasing this stuff now. So, I can figure out my situation. But, um, yeah, there is a factory here that makes clothes. So, they're going to require some cotton. That's right, cotton. So, I, don't, I probably should just buy the harvester and set it up. Now, I will say this because if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know when I do... I, I've, I, I've asked and no one's ever replied. So, if anyone out there can actually answer me this question, please. Uh, if you play with crop destruction, like I do, and you harvest cotton, and then you run over the cotton stalks and destroys it, when you go to replant, does it plant where you ran over the stalks? Because I have that problem. So, if, in case you know what I'm really saying, so like, uh, well, you know when you harvest cotton, it leaves up the stalks. If I run over it, it's going to destroy those dead stalks or whatever you want to call them. And then when I go to replant on the field, it won't let me plant where those stalks are. I have to plow the field to like reset it, if you will. So, if we do the cotton, I probably will have to turn off crop destruction when I go to reseed it in the field. Once the stocks are up, that's what I want to say. So I'll probably have to do that. But anywho, let's grab our fence tractor. Yeah, so I'll probably will... Yeah, I'm thinking we should probably just buy the, the cotton harvester now when I have the money. Because we're going to lose it. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, should I just buy another field and plant nothing but cotton in it? And that field there can be our money maker until... <laughs> everything starts panning out I don't know I don't want to spend all of our money because like I said if we get down too low and we start going to, you know if we go in the red I can't borrow any more cash and Bill is saying uh, deal with it figure it out 
I mean, he was nice enough. You know, originally we asked for fifty million dollars, and then I said, "Well, I probably need five million dollars in spending money until we can start turning this farm around." And here we are. I'm halfway through that spending money, and um, yeah, but we're not that far off from getting our animals all set, anyways, right? Uh, what I probably should be doing here before I go ahead and harvest harvest this. Um, let's go ahead and get one of our farm hands to start seeding wheat in that field. And I think I'll help him out by doing a headland here because it's kind of close. And while we're here, let's go ahead and top off everything. So spend more money. And you, sir, can be topped off. Oh, that's right. I can go right through here now. I'm still kind of used to the way it was in 17, and I keep, you know, I keep thinking, oh, I got to drive around. No, you don't. You can just drive through here now. Yeah, so we're going to help this guy out. So this field is all set to go. Slow it down. Turn it on. I mean, he probably had enough room here to turn around, but we'll help him out anyways. Just to make sure. So that way we can take care of the straw in that field over there. Because I'm probably going to have to make at least one trip down and come back up and gather the rest of it. And I'm sure by then, this work will be done. And then we can go ahead and start planting some oats in that field. Right, back up with the seed roll down as one shouldn't, but I do. I'm not that realistic. All right, that should be good. Can you, sir, go ahead and plant that field while I go back and do... I'm picking up some straw. So like I said, the first, uh, definitely the first load is go down to the silo by the pig barn, hog barn. And then the rest I'll put down probably at the silo by the cows. And probably give the cows some straw as well. I think they require, so I think like half, they're halfway through. I think. I'm not sure. Because I don't think I gave enough straw to begin with. So that could be why they're kind of on the low side. Yeah, so I think... Uh, Probably the thing we need to do... Oh yeah, so if I do buy the cotton harvester, I am going to also need the trailer to pick up the cotton bales because uh, I'm not going to really try to use the auto-loading trailer that I have. I'm going to try to do everything manually. That's why we got the 48 flatbed Chevy uh, truck to load up the crates in, the pallets. And we're not going to be using the cotton harvester that I've been using like on Hawks Bay and on Ravenport. Uh, this is going to be Stevie's cotton harvester. So we're not going to have 100,000 liter bales. It's going to be, I think his go up to 40 or 60. Yeah, so definitely one trip down to the pig barn, and I should be able to put the rest in here because we started with like a half a trailer load of straw already. And we are full. So on down to the hog barn silo, dump this in, and then uh, I'll be back up here picking up more straw. Well, that was almost perfect. I just finished collecting all the straw off this field. Well, almost all of it. I got a full trail at 90,000 liters, and that is what's left. Um, yeah, I'm not coming back for that. That's good. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about that at all. 
So, yeah, I got one load, like I said, down at the uh, pig uh, hog barn silo. It's called the hog barn, so I'm going to have to say hog barn. Um, this guy finished doing what he needed to do. And I need to switch this on over to oats. There we go. Cut across the field or road here. So I had a, a thought. And I text Frank, which is our main farm hand, and he is going to look into it. I said, you know, I was thinking, okay, we need we need a way to make money. And I had a thought. So, yeah, the thought is we have that huge grass field down there. And as you saw, we got like over 600,000 liters of hay off that field. So we're set on hay for a while. So it's either flip the grass field around and put a crop in it that I can harvest and then when I need hay, I gotta replant grass into it and all that. Or, and Frank is gonna look into this, we can cut the grass, bale it, and make silage bales out of it to farms around the area that need silage bales. So Frank is gonna look into if there's any uh, other farms in the area that require some silage bales but that does require us to buy a baler and a wrapper so yeah but with that big of a field we can probably make that money back in one go and then some I would think it's just going to require a lot of work I mean bailing it is a piece of cake uh, that's not a problem because, you know, we could run the Big M and put a tractor on Follow Me to bale up the grass as we go. We don't need to windrow it at all because the Big M will put it into one nice swath for us. And then the long part is going around with the wrapper afterwards. So, yeah, we're going to look into that. Or Frank's looking into that. But, uh, not, yeah, we got some oats going in. And, yeah, this is not oats for sale. This is oats for storage. For a future horse show that the town may put on, which is, you know, I understand what Bill's trying to do. It's a great idea for the community. You get some visitors to come, you know, have, you know, have a horse show or whatever they, they call those things. And, uh, yeah, we supply the the paddock for the horses, but we got to, we got to supply the food and materials for them. So, yeah, I'm not sure how the town's going to get paid and how it's going to help out the farm just yet. So, I, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, we buy the horses and then we get the money when the horses are sold. I think it's just a matter we get a payment from the horse owners for a rental space for the paddock and also for feeding them. But away we go here. This is going to be our last job for this episode is, well, almost our last job. After I get done seeding this, we'll park this guy up and then we're going to grab our fence tractor, head on down to the cows, top them off with some straw, and we're going to put the rest into the silo right now. I th then we'll, I just want to check on the, on the mixer for the cows just to see how much we got in storage in the mixer. And I keep wanting to say that mixer will hold 600,000 liters. And our cows are pretty well off on food for a while. Yeah, so... Yeah, then I may go to the store and buy the cotton harvester. And also, you know, if we get word back... You know, I think we could just buy a baler and a wrapper and go for it. Or I may just... I, might, I should just wait until Frank gets... Because if he doesn't find anyone, then I bought all that stuff for no reason because... You know, if I want to make silage from grass, I could just bring it over to the BGA, compact it, and do it that way. But the reason why I need to bale it, if someone wants it, because it's got to be transported. So, that's why we would bale it and wrap it. Wrap it up for them. And the good thing about it is, the pickup point, quote-unquote, the, the barn loft, if you will, is right there. So, <laughs> I don't have to go far to sell them or the pickup area for them. Yeah, 
Yeah, and also I wouldn't use the auto-loading trailer either. When I mean auto-loading trailer, I mean the one that just tra teleports the bales onto the trailer. I mean, we could get the quote-unquote auto-loader in-game that picks them up off the ground without having to use a bale spike because it's long enough to wrap up the bales as it is uh, to sit there and watch me with a, a bale spike, which you shouldn't really put through the wrap anyway. So, but to watch me load up, I don't know how many bales we would get off that field. Oh, well, actually, I could do probably some quick math, actually, because we know how much hay we kind of got off there. And then you can divide that by how big your bale size is. Now, the baler I would use is Stevie's baler because I think that one, uh, the bales can be 8,000 liters. And I have seen some mod of balers out there that can hold 20,000 liter bales, but uh, yeah, I think 8,000 is good enough. And here come the weeds. So, yeah, probably 8,000 into that. So, you know, it's going to be pretty close to... I want to say 90? Does that sound right? That'd be 720,000 liters. And I think, like I said, we had 640 in stock. But that's also, some of that's been used to make the mixed rations. So, you know, we might get somewhere around 90 bales off that field. Probably actually more closer to 80 than 90, but somewhere in that area. All right, so we are just about done here. Then, we'll, like I said, we'll take that hay on. See, hay. See, I got hay on them. I got grass, hay, silage. The straw. The straw. We'll take that down to the cow barn. Uh, make sure the cows are topped off with some straw so they keep making manure. But, yeah, hopefully Frank can find people that want silage, which would be great because this farm is going to need to make some cash. Because, like I said, we're going we're to buy a cotton harvester. Uh, then a trailer, so there's like a half million dollars right there. That brings us down to like two million. Actually lower than that because we're at 2.3 million for some reason already. I don't know what's going on with our money. Um, yeah, then of course the baler, which is only like, a, I don't want to say only a hundred grand. And then of course, uh, I got to buy a loader to pick up the bales to sell them. Yeah, I can easily see us spending another 700 grand. Ouch. And that just gives us enough cash to pay our loan off for 10 days. And that doesn't count buying seed, fertilizer, and all that stuff. But, like I said, if we can do silage bales and sell them to other farms, we'll be making some cash. How much do we get for silage selling it at the barn? Inquiring minds want to know. So biogas plant, that's a set price, 200. Uh, the barn is 143. Agro wholesales. The problem with the agro wholesales, that's up here, right? Yeah, that's way up here, and our grass field is way down here. So we'll probably just make a deal with a barn. Um, I'll, I'll probably just text Frank, tell him to go to the barn, and the barn can buy our bales, and they can sell them to farms outside of our county, if you will. Um... <gasps> our corn and our so uh, canola is ready for harvest, but that's we're not doing that today. Yeah, so it looks like next episode, the first thing we are going to do is harvest that canola and get it over to the pig food mixer so we can buy our pigs later in the episode, and by then we should have some pig food to give them. All right, so let's go ahead and park this guy up anywhere is fine here. There we go. And looks like this field is ready as well. Well, harvest, harvest, harvest. This will be... We'll make some money off those potatoes as well. I got I to gotta call uh, Rachel. That's that's what her name is. I got to call Rachel and find out. Um, I think there's only two places I can bring potatoes anyways. Um, I mean, where would she have me bring them? Because they got to prep them. Agro wholesales. Ugh. Or the bakery. Well, we'll have to see what she says when they're ready for harvest, but uh, let's finish up our job. No, that's that's why. I, no, come on, stop it. I got to scroll up a little bit. There you go, peanut. 
You know, I just started playing Farming Simulator today, so give me a break. Uh, we'll go down over, over that way. So we made some pretty good progress today. Uh, yeah, we have spent some cash. I mean, Bill went ahead and bought some land. But uh, yeah, we'll get some money from the horses from renting out paddock space and from feeding them and taking care of them why people do their horse show stuff. Alright, let's head on down through here. And the reason why I really want to go this way, one, it probably is the shortest way. Two, I get to go through the BGA so we can drive past the Total Mix Rations Mixer to see what the status of that is, how much food is actually in there. The one thing I've been doing, I've been going down this road a few times, and yes, uh, if you're going too fast, it'll kick out the trailer. I cross these railroad tracks without even looking for the train. Uh, the train is active. It's, it's going around. So... One of these days, I'm going to go across and I'm going to be sent flying up to the agro wholesales. Make sure your tractor has also good brakes when you come down this hill because if you don't, well, then you're going to go for a ride. And hopefully this bridge holds up because, I don't know, the weight of a tractor and 90,000 liters of, well, whatever you have. I mean, obviously 90,000 liters of straw is going to be lighter than 90,000 liters of grass. All right, so what is our mixer looking like here? Let's scroll in. Um, it's out of silage, which is whatever. Uh, so we're down to 12,000 liters of straw, 200,000 liters of hay. You know, let's just get out, make it easier. Um, yeah, 491,000 liters of total mix rations. So I don't think we need to make any for a while, which is good. Um, we'll leave that silage there. So that also means I don't need to be growing corn for chaff to make silage. So at some point soon, hopefully, we can, you know, start putting some crop down here to harvest the cell. All right, so let's go in this way because I want to top off the cows with some straw. And if my Volvo truck can fit in here, I'm assuming this guy can fit in here. It should mow down the straw a little bit. Alright. So they're topped off. So the good news is the cows are topped off with straw. Like I said, we don't really need straw now for Total Mix Rations for a while. Come on. Really? I, I went out one way. I mean, I came in one way. <laughs> there we go. You know, I can deal with that for sure. The, the pig barn that we tried on the preview of the Pacific Northwest. Couldn't even get this in here. Alright. So I got to remind myself where the silo is. So, yep. The one couple uh, more things we're going to do. Well, one more thing we're going to do here is at least buy the cotton harvester. I'm not going to buy the trailer just yet because I want to check on something for the trailer. Probably going to need more sheds as well, but for now, here we are. All right, so let's just go in here, cotton technology. Um, so this is the one I usually use. Uh, here's Stevie's mod, so we're going to go ahead and go in here. Engine setup, well, you know, I want the bigger engine because. Uh, GPS, yes, because I might use it capacity. So the standard 20,000 liters, you can have 40 or 30. Uh, we're going to go with 40,000 liters, and that is our choice. Um since it's cotton, uh, I mean, just pure white, or is that too much white? I don't know. Our rims are, are orange, so let's try design color of orange. That just looks terrible. Let's buy it. <laughs> 
No, I, I don't know. That, I don't know if I like that too much. Uh, that I can live with. White and black with the orange rims. I can, I can deal with that. Yeah, let's go with that. We're just going to go with it. Uh, go ahead and buy that. So, yes, please. Yep, down to 1.9 million. Um, yeah, so let's just look into bailing technology. So how much is the... Uh, wait, is this the wrapper for square bales? I think it is, right? Uh, Stevie's mod. What's the difference between Stevie's mod and the base game? 54000 It's the same price. I wonder if it wraps them faster. I don't know. Uh, that just says round bales. I'm trying to figure out if I want square or round bales. That holds 16 square bales. Is there... Uh, there should be a round... Uh, maybe he didn't mod the round one, so... All right, so we're looking at 60,000, 160. So we're looking at 200 grand to get the silage up and going. <sighs> so 200 grand and another trailer. So it's, it's getting us down to like $1.5 million. Oh, man. But at least if we start selling silage over there, we'll start making some money. Uh... I know you're probably saying, can we go over and look at the, uh, the the beautiful cotton harvester? There we go. There she is. Yeah, we'll start uh, hopefully making some money off that. So I'm hoping that when we harvest the corn and potatoes, I can switch one of those fields over to a cotton field. Um, yeah, then if we, I don't think we can buy any more money. I thought about buying some land. Now, I would like to buy this one, but that's $652,000. I don't know. I could be cutting us awfully close if I bought this property here and just started doing cotton in this field. But, I mean, we would make money off the cotton pretty quickly. And I know he said the, the clothing factory is going to require some cotton. So, yeah, we're going to have to start getting into that at some point soon. Um... Yeah, I think uh, when I take my little morning break here, I'm going to do some, get out, get out the book and see, you know, to see if we can do this. Um, yeah, I got to hear back from Frank about the silage. Hopefully that deal will go through. He, Frank is working hard on getting the contract with the barn to sell silage bales to them and they can sell bales to the other farmers around the county. And, uh. If that goes through, then I think we can go ahead and maybe buy that field I was just looking at. It's even ready for harvest. Oh, man, it's ready for harvest. And it's, well, it's barley, which is not the greatest. I mean, would it be, ooh, wait a minute, wait, wait, there's canola over here. Oh, wait a minute, there's canola over here. That land is cheaper. It's got canola in it. That would help out with our pig food. And then I can put cotton over here. And I can place a cotton harvester in this shed over here. Ooh, that might be, mm -hmm. that might be what we do, guys. That could be what we do. Um, and it's ready for harvest as well. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, wow. I really, uh, I got to, I got to go to the, the, the store, get myself a coffee and uh, do some uh, number crunching. But I think next episode, we could be starting off with buying some more stuff and look at our bank account go way down and, but we'll, we'll turn it around quickly, hopefully. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.